good morning i welcome you all to the series of lectures on internal combustion engines today we are going to discuss about the combustion chambers in si engine while designing the combustion chamber what are the things that we need to keep in mind these things are going to discuss in the today class first of all uh, you know first of all we should think about uh, what are the principles that we need to take care while designing the combustion chamber of SI engine see the first point is the largest possible inlet valve should be placed to get high volumetric efficiency for example the combustion chamber is like this and the inlet valve is more if the inlet valve diameter is more then i can get more amount of air fill mixture can be entered so if the inlet diameter is more inlet diameter of the valve the diameter of the inlet valve is more then automatically the more is the <coughs> amount of air fill mixture entering into the cylinder once uh, amount of air fill mixture entering into the cylinder is more then um, automatically the volumetric efficiency increase if volumetric efficiency increase the performance of the engine is increase that's it flame travel distance should be less to reduce the knocking already in the previous class we have discussed the what is knocking and what is the flame travel and how it is affecting the knocking so for example if i place the spark plug here the flame travel distance is you know for example if the engine size is very less if i place the spark plug here the flame travel distance is less for example if i have large engine then i have to go for two sparks twin sparks so for example if it is a pulsar uh, what we use we use we usually see the uh, title as a dts a digital twin spark ignition that means there are two spark plug because as the engine inc size increases if i place only one spark plug the flame travel distance is more so the knocking will occur because the time uh, the distance is more time taken for the flame to reach end position is more so automatically knocking will occur in order to reduce the knocking the flame travel distance should be less for a larger engine how to reduce the flame travel distance by placing the two spark plugs that's it that means to design a engine cylinder such as that the flame travel distance should be less to reduce the knocking exhaust valve should not be placed at the end gas region it should be near to the spark plug because uh, if for example if uh, exhaust this is exhaust valve this is inlet valve if i locate the exhaust valve nearer to the end gas this end, this exhaust valve is at high temperature so this end gas taking heat from the uh you know exhaust valve and this bonds that means pre ignition occur so that will cause the knocking detonation to reduce this one the exhaust valve the design of the engine cylinder is such that the exhaust valve should be should not be placed near to the end gas but should but it should be placed near to the spark plug right that is the third point provide a good scavenging of exhaust gases you know scavenging even after uh, <coughs> even after the piston doing exhaust stroke that means uh, after reaching the piston to to top dead center in from bottom dead center that means during exhaust the piston reaches to top dead center at that time the exhaust the whatever the gases they should go out through the exhaust valve but that is not happening so because some gases are at the corners of the engine cylinder so they won't go outside these gases are affecting the next cycle so these gases should go out with the help of fresh charge so that means if i place if i provide some uh, you know bend to the inlet valve so these gases that means this fresh charge will send the exhaust gases to outside that means that is called valve overlap at that position the suction happen and exhaust valve also exhaust also taking place so that means both the valves are open that is also called as valve overlap and you know <coughs> this uh, the, this process is called scavenging process that means sending the exhaust gases with the help of fresh charge is called scavenging and it is also called as valve overlap so if we have to design a engine cylinder such as that that is combustion chamber in such a way that it should get good scavenging of the exhaust gases that's it these are the four important parameters very very important parameter that we need to take care while designing the combustion chamber of an si engine combustion chamber of a si engine now combustion chambers there are different types of combustion chambers we have so t head combustion chamber l head combustion chamber ricardo turbulent head side wall combustion chamber i head type combustion chamber f head type combustion chamber bath type combustion chamber wedge type combustion chamber so we will discuss these combustion chambers uh, in a detail one by one in the next class thank you very much